Hi, Lynn. I want one lemonade smoothie, please. John, that is 25 cents. Lynn, it is very hot today. I want two lemonade smoothie, please. John, that is 25 cents. Another 25 cents. Lynn, do you remember what Dr. Fung said about the difference between change in demand and change in quantity demanded? I bought more lemonade today than yesterday. Have I increased my demand? Or, have I just increased the quantity demanded? Dr. Fung said that if you buy more because the price has gone down, then you have increased your quantity demanded. But I have not changed my price today from yesterday. So I have increased my demand today because I buy more today in response to the heat rather than the price. Right. A change in demand results from change in other factors than the item price itself. Let's go over what Dr. Fung's lecture says. When more is bought at lower prices, we say the quantity demanded has increased. When less is bought at higher prices, we say that the quantity demanded has decreased. When more is bought at the same price, demand, rather than quantity demanded, is said to have increased. When less is bought at the same price, demand, rather than quantity demanded, is said to have decreased. In other words, a change in quantity demanded involves moving up or down the same demand curve, while a change in demand involves a shift of the whole demand curve. Dr. Fung, why is it so important to differentiate between change in demand and change in quantity demanded? John, good question. If a company wants to increase sales by lowering prices, it wants to be sure that the increased sales is due to price changes, and not because the buyers have been affected by other changes than the prices of the promoted products. Thank you, Dr. Fung.